Oh yes. You see, what you do is you uh, take take a newspaper and you cut little faces out of the obituaries. <laughs> <laughs> you, just, you just tape them right there. <laughs> then you got a little ghost. Hey, it's not a true story. They should be that cruel. <laughs> it's called then you the do prank. puppet shows on their graves. Yeah. <laughs> it's called the prank. Trick or treat. When I was alive, I was a very, very polite person. But now that I'm dead, fuck you. <laughs> Trick or treat. Send me straight to hell. What do I care? <laughs> Have a shot for me. <laughs> Dude, we can make a whole business out of that. It's like, a lot trigger of your loved ones will make you never build Bitter statues. Bitter finger puppets. Voodoo dolls. <laughs> How do we do this? We just, we just make Some a movie out of it and call it. We can just be all. Happy like Halloween. Trick or treat. Yeah, dude. We gotta make What's a your prank? And it shows him going <laughs> with the ghost you know, on the face. Trick or treat. What's your prank? Going to theaters near you. No, I have guns. Pranks aren't usually very threatening. Yeah. Unless it's one of those threatening. It just makes it that much more magical. <laughs> it's like an '80s movie. No, it's not. I think, <laughs> Danny, you're gonna do a musical. Number. Oh yes, we were. Which number? What? You're gonna do a musical number. A number? Is it uh, odd or even? Twenty-three. That's the sack of speed, isn't it? Oh yeah. Got to rock. Um, it's the quickest. You gotta swallow this saw. before you go to the airport, dude. <laughs> 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 oh no, that wasn't speed. That coffee, was a ghost. tea, milk, coffee, tea, milk. <laughs> Give me your pussy. Okay, so yeah, new, new, new movie idea. Guy accidentally swallows a ghost because he thinks it's a bag of dope. And then he gets, <laughs> he gets possessed. <laughs> and he goes to jail for possession. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, dude. Oh, Please exercise the man. <laughs> Get him laid. Plates the thing. Blades of steel. Spoons of lead. No, it's blades of steel. Yeah, that's what you were talking about. <laughs> I wasn't talking about blades of steel. Blazing saddles. Oh. Blades and Steel was just uh, something that wasn't said. Are you going to play that? <laughs> that wasn't said. No, Isaac's going to play this. Oh, so no. Isaac's going to play this, isn't he? Yeah, I'll play man. Any music in a minute? What do you want to play? Let's, let's hear some Isaac originals. Oh, yeah, let's hear some Isaac originals. Um...
That's not going to make it stick. Yeah, that's not how the deodorant works. <laughs> <laughs> no, deodorant is not glue. No, but it could dry like that. Ah. Yeah, I've done things. But it like is that. hair gel, I tell you. Yeah, yeah, it will work like that. <laughs> yeah, it's hair gel with the shampoo substitute. <laughs> Just lick it. I'm gonna lick it after I put deodorant. <laughs> Oh man. Spit on That was a good song, I bet. Cock up thick with it. I guess it technically didn't end, but I still like it. <laughs> this is that. It's second half. Say something, audio visuals. None of us have anything to say. Can't we just have a donut show where it's quiet? <laughs> I mean, okay, really so I would like, like all the viewers to know that if you send me money via anything, internet, maybe like some of biz art or something, I'll use the funds to fly down to a red carpeted area. Okay, she's and really fragile. Be take careful. an Eat the Fish sticker and give all the celebrities I can a hug while slapping the Eat the Fish sticker on the back of them. And it'll walk, it'll walk around with stickers that say, I support Eat the Fish, and you will make history. So send me money. I mean, don't send me money, but you could. <laughs> don't do it. But you could. <laughs> on the address that's displayed on the, compu- on the uh, monitor right now. This is the ghost of librarians past. <laughs> it's that chick from the Ghostbusters. I'm not grabbing the autofocus. Thank you for calling the Ghostbusters! Ghostbusters, what do you want? I'm too old for this. I don't like Kevin Smith. He's my neighbor in Jersey. That's Danny Glover. (laughs) And where the hell did Kevin Smith get in that? That woman is obviously Michael Douglas. Uh, Kevin Smith's from Jersey. I know. So is their, like, telephone operator. And Danny Glover is from San Francisco. But the girl from Ghostbusters... Danny is Glover also- has nothing to do with Ghostbusters. He said he was too old for this. <laughs> <laughs> that was not Janine's line. That was Danny Glover's <laughs> line. Janine never said... I wasn't even talking about her. About the Are you sure that Janine didn't say I'm too old I'm for this to think, in actually, Ghostbusters yeah, 2? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I mean, that sounds like a Ghostbusters 2 line. Maybe. It's at least a Winston Zedmore line. Yeah. I'm not sure about I that. I guarantee it is. Yeah. I, I was saying earlier to Danny that if the Ghostbusters, when they, uh, <laughs> they had to imagine the enemy that would destroy them, and then yeah. his Dan Aykroyd face was like, oh, I thought of something innocent because I couldn't help but think something. He, what he really should have thought of was like a tiny little rabbit with an anvil hovering over it, suspended in time. So when um, they actually animated it, the anvil would actually fall on the enemy and it'd be over. But no, wouldn't, wouldn't it just be like a giant rabbit with an anvil floating over yeah, it. Yeah, that's my like only concern. Anvil. Yeah, yeah, that's what it would be. Yeah, that, that's exactly. one that could be, actually, I think, I, I, I think that, Maybe uh, for one, all right, all right, for one, who are any angels. of us, for one, who are any of us to second guess Ray's dance, and secondly, <laughs> the, 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 the image of the creature with the giant floating anvil has much much, much more potential to go wrong than a giant animated marshmallow. Not to mention that the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man in its entirety wasn't that big. It was just grown to be that big because it's the goddamn destroyer. Exactly. So a tiny bunny could still be a huge bunny, just tiny. Yeah, I was thinking about that. Yeah. Yeah, that was my only concern. Or it could be an but, anvil um, monster. Right? Or that the anvil could just be suspended and then just could, could stay suspended until the bunny like was right next to them, and then suddenly the anvil could drop. So many ways that could go wrong. Or if it even it goes perfectly right, what if they and imagine the anvil crushes the bunny, fart. the shape of marshmallow man then comes out of that hole. Right? Like, yeah, then you have to do that over. <laughs> what about, what if it, they imagine a giant fart? Like, 
Oh, oh yeah, no. what I'm thinking is what Are you just suggesting that Ghostbusters 1 would have been better if it had ended with, you know what? Fuck this show. <laughs> Fuck this show. You can't just leave, Michael. Watch me. He doesn't even have a run old, does he? No way. He's not leaving. Anyways. Yeah, he's walking. All I'm saying is that... Anyone that thinks that Ghostbusters 1 should have ended in a giant fart, please send me comments. Well, you see, that's the question. It says that the first thing thing they think of is what the destroyer... Every comment comes with approval if you send me a dollar. But what if it wasn't a marshmallow, man? What if it was, like, more of the idea side of a noun, like democracy? <laughs> like, dude, I just thought of democracy. Like, well, it's not really too tangible. <laughs> All right, I've got nowhere else to go. Are you happy? <laughs> Well, then, like, all of the de- Democrats... Oh, no! Freedom of choice is going to kill enemy. us! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then the 21st century began, and it was all downhill for it. Uh, I was watching this, like, news reporter on the internet the other day that was talking about Osama bin Laden, and then also talking about Obama dealing with it, but every single time she was supposed to say Osama, she said Obama, like 12 <laughs> times through the whole report. Wow. That's a pretty big mix up. Pretty much the greatest thing ever. Yeah, it was like, Obama's nice. gonna attack, and then Obama's gonna do something about it, and then... <laughs> And then, but then they're they're trying to find Obama, but then they're talking to uh, Obama in a meeting currently, and I'm like, well, man. What if it was Obama stating that in the third person? What's that? (laughs) What if it was Obama stating all that in the third person? He He probably would get his name. He would probably get it clear. The left refer to the don't refer to themselves in the third person. It's the right (laughs) wing that refers to themselves in the third person all the fucking time. (laughs) Who in the right Bob Dole doesn't need this. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 of course. Herman Cain's all about the third person. Oh, but is he gonna... Because even he doesn't know who he is. Well, he's not really... I guess now it's between Newt and fucking Romney. What would be, what would be the fourth person? Like, is it, if you were to say... There's, there's um, more to it than that, if probably. You were to say, it's so early to say. Um, to yourself. Yeah, you're right. I know a guy... But just most recently. Who... Like... People tell me about straw polls and get excited about straw polls, and it's like, no, a straw poll is like, is what people think a year beforehand. Like, a straw poll is not binding. A primary is barely binding. It has a lot to do with the money they get for their primary campaign. Oh, yeah, I guess that's true. It's like, you're on one, two, or three. Yeah. When is the fourth person ever met? Maybe the apocalypse. What is the fourth person? I'm trying to figure that out. I don't think there is um, the fourth person. Ringo mattered a little. Yeah. No, but wait, no, that was Harrison. Wait, wait, who no, are you talking? Ringo's the fourth. How so? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. uh, Ringo didn't write more. songs. Oh yeah. Ringo didn't even write his songs. Oh, okay. <laughs> what? Yeah. Uh, he didn't write Octopus. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Are you? Sh- I I've watched these freaking anthologies. <laughs> they just kind of wrote. Things for Ringo. Yeah. It was like, oh, you're bored. Let's give you something to sing. <laughs> it was. They're mostly, I think, um, uh, Paul and John tracks, basically. Oh yeah. They just call them like Shaw or Paul. Be like one but then there's that whole thing. Did Paul die before? <laughs> I yeah. think Paul died as soon as he signed the contract for the Beatles. <laughs> So, in other words, Paul died before anybody, before he became famous? Yeah. Yeah. Basically. Okay. I think he died the moment he put the pen. So then whoever hey, the Isaac, imposter was is the one who we knew as Paul. Hmm? Yeah. You should rock. The one, the imposter is basically, basically is Paul for all intents and purposes then. Yeah. There's this other guy who is actually <laughs> legally Paul McCartney who died at the inception of the Beatles, but then who cares about that person? He wasn't part of the Beatles. He didn't write any songs exactly. I like. It was the imposter. So, so for all intents and purposes, the imposter is Paul. So really the debate's just sort of... Yeah, it's like, no, what if, walrus. you know, what if somebody famous died at the age of eight, and then somebody else did live their whole life and did all of their, like, everything <laughs> that they're known for? Well, then that other person is, you know. Is a cow, you know, it's all their stuff. It's their work. Is that the story of Dick Cheney? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Like, 
Satan came in and just took over his life at age eight. Oh, baby. I don't know. He wasn't... Isn't Satan... I don't know. No, uh, he's just like, uh, Omen 3. <laughs> The one where Damien gets elected yeah. president? Yeah, where Damien gets elected president. That's a good one. Yeah. Probably better than Omen 2. Mm, nah. They're all Damien's good. Thinking? Omen 3, if anything, is a little harder to watch. It's got some pacing issues. Didn't you like It's just Damien a better idea. Damien? I don't know. Hit people or something? He's the yeah, Antichrist. Yeah, he's the Antichrist. Well, does he do those things voluntarily or involuntarily? That's what I was wondering. Uh, it seems almost involuntary. Yeah, like, I, out of emotional I think something. the first one leaves room for that, but I feel like he's evil in the second one. Well, yeah, yeah, I'm just saying. And from, what? From its Omen beginning, what is this I've movie? Parts the, first one. Well, the Omen trilogy. It seemed like he was doing that on like, almost like a background noise in his head that was making him do that. Yeah, no, when he's a, in the first Omen movie, they do insinuate that it could be just incidental that people are dying and he's just looking at them evil, you know? Like, yeah. Yeah. the second one, it's more intentional. The nanny and the dog were evil, for sure. Yeah. The what? The nanny and the dog. What happened with that? Uh, the, the, he had a satanic nanny that was taking care of him, the, okay. and, a, uh, and a hound of hell dog. Okay. That was definitely evil, intentionally evil. She's the one that raised the dead log. Well, it, it also goes to show that it's important to shave a child's head. <laughs> Make sure they have they don't have the side of the beast on their head. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't done that, you're an irresponsible parent. <laughs> <laughs> you know every inch of your child's skin. <laughs> well, I know my daughter has the What are you hiding from me under that hair? <laughs> Don't say that on record. <laughs> That's off the record. Yeah. We're just gonna put some plea loops in there. Does that need to be edited out? Just, just, just put some like sounds of the ocean in there <laughs> over when I'm when I'm talking. Do you need the people not to hear that? Because uh, my baby mom might get really bad. Oh, yeah. I can't believe you did that on national television. It's not national. I don't care. <laughs> It's not national, it's international! Yeah, technically it's true. Worldwide. I think you forgot you were supposed to rock, Isaac. The pig? Hell no. I'm not home. I'm not home. Do you see Bird Pop? No, no cheeseburgers, or oysters, no or sardines, or $5,000, or candy. <laughs> well, but, just make it simple. Have candy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But he did save money on his car insurance by not using Geico. Oh, Geico, I owe the money. He's not driving <laughs> a car. I didn't pay for the insurance in the house. Geico helped him with that. Yeah, so Geico helped me get that. car insurance by running <laughs> after I hit that car. <laughs> Car Who's insurance. Well, really gee, if I'm gonna deal with my car insurance, it's not gonna work to too tell well. Tell people to not use our, our business. I don't want to use have your a, business. We have a hotline Jeez. saying, "Hey, these are companies I don't know you're better than us." Want to go with them? We've got everybody. I've saved tons of money on insurance. We've got it all. Reporting all those cars I hit in the parking lot.
accepting donations for anyone who is a coffee enthusiast. Any coffee enthusiast who's so enthusiastic that they want other people to enjoy the wonders of coffee. To be like, here, have this. I want you to share the, the love that I have for coffee, and I want to share that love with you by you providing me with that love. It's like marriage. Ass after words, cause I got an F on my book report. Hot mama, hotter than hell, because she's got the pan frying with the belts in her hand. <laughs> That's what's up. <laughs> Merry Christmas, son. I hope you had a fucking good birthday. You regret it all month because your report card was shit. <laughs> By the way, here's a pack of smoke and I was well back of beer. Harry, watch, have fun watching a porno on Grateful Dead. No, no, Grateful Dead. That's too much drugs for you. How about Jurassic Park? He gives me a porno. Shit. <laughs> yeah. Here, Jurassic Park. I put you on some porno. Jurassic. Gosh. I was like, yeah, that is some Jurassic Park. My friend was staying at night. And so my dad decided to give us a 24 pack of beers and each of us both packed of smokes. So here, watch this. It's a good one. I was like, what movie is it? So it's Jurassic Park. So I put it in as a fucking porno. It was his last closing statement. We're all a little gay, Isaac. No, no, no. <laughs> just walk he was drunk. I remember. Oh, okay. I remember one time. Was <laughs> he always says that. So did he wrestle you at any point? <laughs> went, um, he usually does when my friends come over. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like that. It's kind of like that movie, you know, where where the guy meets his father or his brother or something and socks him in the face, and he goes, then the father's just like, "Yeah, that's right. That was a good one." <laughs> but what's that? Bam. Hits him in the face, and the guy goes, Oh, Dad, I'm sorry. Oh, Dad, that one was a good one. I want this one. Bam! Uppercuts him. The nose gets all bloody. And they literally need, knock the living shit out of each other every time they have fun. That's the way of having fun is sitting each other in the face. Well, yeah, he's a Green Beret, right? No, this is a movie. I'm oh, about. okay. I thought you were actually talking about your stepdad. No, no, no. <laughs> I'd be dead before then. I was too young to know the powers of the Force. Huh. I remember this. And to think I always knew I always knew it. I always knew the force. I mean the force be with you, but it's I always didn't know. You. You ever use the, the power force? is yours <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? Captain America? No, that's uh, it's Captain Planet. Captain Planet, yeah. Yeah. The power is yours. <laughs> Sleep time donor show. No. You know, this is like this is like a Thanksgiving donut show, you know, it's before Thanksgiving, the people But we're celebrating togetherness and by nothing day. Yeah, but so by the time this comes out, it'll be Thanksgiving. And nobody will be watching us anyway. They'll have a song, but they won't it's watch us. It's not gonna come out tomorrow. Ah, oh, you dumbass. <laughs> That's way too fast. You're not a really dumbass, but this just seemed funny at the time. For for all those unaware, the song is about being naked, drunk in the streets. I was naked once, drunk out in the streets. Have you ever seen my penis before? I was drunk out in the streets, naked. Have you ever seen my penis before? My butt is dirty cause I ain't got enough tissue to wipe my ass and 
that's all I'm looking for Oh, did you see the penis? It was not my vagina <coughs> Oh yes, now we all just sit here and just relax and know it'll be comfort that I use vagina is safe and that your penis is safe from my vagina from my vagina and that, if I did have a penis, I'd be a boy. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Subjective. It's really situational. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking A, dude. That was deep. That was really deep. <laughs> that was deep. I <laughs> think that was the first song your penis made it into. You've been talking about your penis for weeks now, but you haven't actually made it into a song. Because I'm proud of it. <laughs> it's enlarged over the years. I <laughs> to write a song about my penis. House of the Rising. The song took too long. How does House of the Rising song go? We could, we could do like House of the Rising penis. Describing my penis is about the same a lot of time as this from here to Venus. Oh, the penis of the girl's lip. What you gonna do when you have a cow born from you? A penis in the vagina. She must be really fucking bored to hear this on air. Watch this right about now. I would have turned off the TV, but you guys are still watching. I guess you can hear me, can't you? Time, 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 time. <laughs> time, 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 time. Okay. If you've ever wondered what we're doing, I've wondered the same thing about you about five times already. <laughs> and no jacking off to this show, you sickos. We're only guys here, okay? You girls, uh, be imaginative with whatever else you need. Just don't jack off. Just say no. If you have any misplaced anger, please direct it towards my YouTube page. 